All right, budget magic time. Playing some green red ramp in standard. Combustible ramp, that is. Gear hulking our way through Kaladash. Uh, well, we can't keep this. This hand does literal nothing. <laughs> Bedlam Reveler looks so bad in this hand. Okay, uh, Mulligan. Ah, uh, we'll try this. This could work. We uh, see what's on top of our deck, I guess. Could use a Gear Hulk. Uh, Servant of the Conduit is going to the bottom. We mostly want action here. Wandering Fumeral for our opponent. Well, we're going to draw a, a Mana Dork anyway by the looks. Timber Gorge, pass the turn. Alright, let's see what our opponent does. Plays a Mountain. And passes. Uh, let's play Plains, play a Servant of the Conduit. And then we'll pass the turn. Give some energy along the way. Still not sure what our opponent's doing. Could be a Colossus deck? Ooh, alright. Fevered Visions. Untap land would be sweet here. Cinder Glade is not untapped, so we need to get in with Servant of the Conduit. Play a Deathcap Cultivator. Play an Evolving Wilds. Pass the turn. Draw a basic. Well, that's an untapped land at least. Another mountain for our opponent. Four mana. Collective Defiance. Okay, well, sack this, get a mountain. Opponent draws. We get another Cinder Glade. Now, let's get in with Death Cap. Put our opponent to 16. Play a Cinder Glade. Play a Hedron Archive, and pass the turn. Draw Wild Wander. Well, if we can live a couple more turns, things are not setting up too horribly. It's going to be hard to get under that Fevered Visions, though. Is this another Collective Defiance? Or... Yep, Collective Defiance puts us down to 10. Well, Wild Wander. Get a land out of our deck. Evolving Wilds. Crack Evolving Wilds. Get a Forest. Pass the turn. Drop to 8. Hope... All right, we get a fiery temper. I feel like we're running out of time here with the amount of burn. Is this another collective defiance? A Chandra, okay. Opponent takes up the Chandra. There's another collective defiance. Puts us down to six. We are close, but we are just a tiny bit short in damage here. We draw another land. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We didn't even draw anything. Well, I think what we got to do is attack Chandra. Oh, uh, we just haven't drawn anything. So hit Chandra. Opponent has Galvanic Bombardment. Play Cinderglade and pass the turn. I mean, this is not ideal. Do we draw even more lands? Another Decimator. Yeah, we're dead now. We've just... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 lands. That is many, and our opponent has an incendiary flow. Okay. So, moving to the sideboard, what do we want against this deck? Probably not Harness Lightnings. Go up Tireless Tracker, Amina in Den, Mockery of Nature, and a Natural State, and an Appetite, and try it like that. All right, we're on the play here. Oh my god. All right, we got a mulligan. Maybe the worst hand of all time. Uh, I guess we can see if we can scry into a land. No deal. Timber Gorge, go. So we really need to... We really need to draw... There we go. Untap land, that's good. So we get to Servant of the Conduit. Give some energy, pass the turn. There's a... Th Thermo Alchemist. Alright, we get a mountain. That's also good. So we get to kill the Thermo Alchemist. Get in with Servant. Pass the turn. There's a Fever Divisions for our opponent. Draws a card. We get a Tireless Tracker. Well, let's get in with... Uh, no attacks. Let's just... Wild Wanderer. To get a land, uh, we'll get a forest here. 
All right, draw Timber Gorge. Another Fevered Visions. That's a little scary. But we really need to get empty-handed pretty quick. Opponent's trying to discard, uh, decide what to discard. Uh, we get a Mina and Den. So one, two, three. Tireless Tracker. One, two. Servant of the Conduit. Play a Timber Gorge, get a clue, get in with Wild Wander, hope that our opponent doesn't manage to blow us out, ooh, Bedlam Reveler, and Evolving Wild, so we take two there. If our opponent can wipe our board with like a Radiant Flames or something, that would make things go bad pretty quick. Fevered Vision's going to trigger, opponent draws, opponent draws, gonna have to do some discarding. Whoa, double fiery temper, ugh. Fiery temper! Going to kill, oh, going to our face? Interesting, so our opponent's just going for the kill. I think drawing a land here would actually be really good. Opponent! Hits us down to ten. We draw a cultivator. So one, two, three, four. Oh, we're still taking damage, though. Well, uh, one, two, three, four, play Mina and Den. Play Evolving Wilds, get a clue. Crack Evolving Wilds, get the planes, might as well, get a clue. Cast a Death Cap Cultivator. Attack with everything, hope we don't get burnt out. And if we don't get burnt out, we actually have a pretty reasonable shot of winning next turn. All right, opponent kills our Tireless Tracker. We get in for five. We draw two. We don't take any damage off the first one. Servant and Hedron Archive. Down to eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we definitely have lethal. What does our opponent have is the big question. Collective Brutality. All right. Now we don't have lethal. Opponent draws, opponent draws. We draw. Oh, now we do have lethal. Uh, so, cast with merge. Sacking Wild Wander. Trample up the crew. Whoo, that was a key draw. Wow, we likely were dead if we didn't rip the decimator there. But now I don't think it really matters. I don't think there's anything our opponent can really do to get out of it now. Because Decimator is 7 on its own, then any other one creature is lethal. That was super close. Alright, we'll run it back for game 3. Alright, game 3, and we'll keep this. Little slow, but doesn't really matter. We weren't going to be able to play a 2-drop anyway on turn 1, because standard. Ooh, and there's a Gear Hulk. Evolving Wild, pass the turn. At least this hand should be fairly good at getting empty-handed, assuming all goes well. Uh, incendiary Flow. Well, that's the least threatening thing our opponent could have played. A Thing in the Ice or the Pinger, um, Thermo Alchemist, would have been way worse. Servant of the Conduit. Pass the turn. So hopefully we can just, hopefully this lives and we can two drop, two drop into, uh, I guess, uh, alright, that's not going to work. So, Deathcap Cultivator. Play a Mountain. Pass the turn. We're still doing a good job of getting empty-handed. Another bombardment. We are getting bombarded, though. That's going to slow us down. There's the fevered visions. So we are going to take damage off of that, unfortunately. Decimator. Well, let's play the mountain. Play Hedron Archive. Pass the turn. Take our damage. Timber Gorge. Well, we're going to need more green mana eventually. There's a mountain. And a Chandra. That's even more damage. All right, down to 13. Problem with this Gear Hulk is it's going to draw us cards. One, two, three. We can't get below Fevered Vision's damage. Well, let's just Gear Hulk. Hope for the best. Unfortunately, this is going to make it super hard to get empty-handed, assuming our opponent just is like, okay, draw three, which I would expect. Ooh, they took the damage? Nine, 15, 17! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> we did it!
<laughs> oh my god. Well, not quite the 20 spot, but uh, but we will take it, especially with this fiery temper in hand. We're actually one land away from winning with the hasty gear hulk. Play Timber Gorge. Best of turn. <laughs> I, <laughs> I had no clue it was that much damage. Oh my god. Well, that's one way to steal a win. I don't expect our opponent can 11 us this turn, even with Chandra putting us to 9. That's quite the combination of cards with only 4 or 5 mana. So it seems unlikely. And then they have to deal with the Gear Hulk. So they might have to, like, minus Chandra on the Gear Hulk, plus burn spell the Gear Hulk. And then they still have to deal with Fiery Temper. So there's, like, a million things. Ooh, Storm Chaser Mage. I don't think this changes it. I guess it's a chump blocker for the Gear Hulk. I still don't think. They would need... All right, four damage. And then what, Bombardment? Lightning Axe. Discarding a Chandra. So Gear Hulk down. Good news is... Can we do both? One, two, three. So play Tireless Tracker. Play Hand Weir Battlements. Get a clue. Give Tireless Tracker haste. Attack our opponent. And, ooh, we got the, <laughs> the 17 with Combustible Gear Hulk. So, that, <laughs> that might have been a misplay on our opponent's part. They probably should have just let us draw. I guess they were reasonably worried, and that's what our deck does, is you also, you don't want to let us draw into our huge things that can take over the game either, so it does put the opponent in a really tough spot, but uh, 17 damage is pretty above the curve, and that was the only reason we won. We put, we had this 17 damage combustible gear hulk, otherwise there was no way we would have won that game, so uh, that was... About how we drew it up, and about as sweet as it gets.